one of my favorite philosophers is Spinoza. And I think he combined that all very well, you know, this idea of trying to understand the universe and understanding our place in it. And that was his kind of way of understanding religion. And I think that's quite beautiful. And for me, every, all of these things are related, interrelated, the technology and um, what it means to be human. And uh, I think it's very important though, that we remember that as when we're immersed in the technology and the, the research. I think a lot of researchers that I see in, in our field are a little bit too narrow and only understand the technology. And I think also that's why it's important for um, this to be debated by society at large. And I'm very supportive of things like this, the AI summits that will happen and governments understanding it. And I think that's one good thing about the chatbot era and the product era of AI is that everyday person can actually feel and and interact with cutting edge AI and and, and feel feel it for themselves. Yeah, because they, they force the technologists to have the human conversation. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's the hopeful aspect of it. Like you said, it's a dual use technology that we're forcefully integrating the entire of humanity into it by into the discussion about AI mm -hmm. because ultimately AI AGI will be used for things that states use technologies for which is uh, conflict and so on and the more we uh, uh, integrate humans into this picture by having <laughs> chats with them the more we will guide yeah we'll be able to adapt society will be able to adapt to these technologies like we've always done in the past with with uh, the incredible technologies we've invented in the past. Do you think there will be something like a Manhattan Project where um, there will be an escalation of the power of this technology and states in their old way of thinking will try to use it as weapons technologies and there will be this kind of escalation? I hope not. Um, I think that would be uh, very dangerous to do. And I think also, um, you know, not the right use of the technology. I, I hope we'll end up with more something more collaborative, if needed, like more like a like a CERN project. Yeah. You know, where um, it's research focused and the best minds in the world come together to carefully complete the final steps and make sure it's responsibly done before you know, like uh, deploying it to the world. We'll see. I mean, it's difficult with the current geopolitical climate, I think, uh, to, to see cooperation, but things can change. And um, I think at least on the scientific level, it's important for the researchers to, 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 to keep in touch and, and, and keep close to each other on, at least on those kinds of topics. Yeah, and I, I personally believe on the education side and uh, immigration side, it would be great if both directions, uh, people from the West immigrated to China and China back. I mean, there is some like family human aspect of people just intermixing. Yeah. And thereby those ties grow strong so you can't sort of divide against each other this kind of old school way of thinking. And so uh, multi, uh, multicultural, multidisciplinary research teams working on scientific questions, that's like the hope. Don't don't let the, the warm the leaders that are warmongers because it divide us. I think science is the ultimately really beautiful connector. Yeah, science has always been, uh, I think, quite a, a very collaborative endeavor. Mm -hmm. And, you know, scientists know that it's it's a it's a collective endeavor as well, and we can all learn from each other. So perhaps it could be a vector to get a bit of cooperation.